Hey, welcome to Color Up. Today's strategy was sent to me by a math statistician, and he says as long as you can roll the six or eight before four sevens, then you're gonna win with the strategy. Now he claims he's yet to lose with this strategy, and it only takes $264 is all the bankroll you need to make this work. So let's go ahead and check it out. Today's strategy is part of my Dice Advice series where viewers submit strategies and I roll them out. This one was sent to me by Bill and he likes to call this the 6-8 working. Now this is a pretty simple strategy, but you do need some patience for this one. Now what he does for this strategy, we're just gonna bet the six and eight. We'll start at a $10 table, so $12 bets on each. Now we're always gonna have our bets working, so even though the puck is off and we're on a come out roll, we're gonna have our bets turned on. So you just ask the dealer, dealers have my six and eight working please. And he'll put one marker or two markers on them for the come out roll. Now if one of these numbers roll, that's great. We're gonna win $14. At that point, we'll just collect our $14 and then ask the dealer to turn our bets. Well, the same things, I'll just flip them over, turn our bets off. So even if there's a point, we're just gonna ride it out until the shooter finally sevens out. And then for the new come out roll, we turn our bets on and try to win our $14 again. If however, our bets lose, we roll a seven, the six and eight lose, we're going to then increase our bets. The next level is we're going to go to $30 bets on the six and eight. Again, the puck is off, we'd have our bets working. Now this time, if we can hit a six or eight, we'll get paid 35. Remember the first hand we lost 24, so we still actually have a profit of $11. If that was the case, once we hit one, we win our $11. Again, we turn our bets off, we wait for the shooter to seven out, and start back over down at $12 bets. Now, if you lose at the $30 level, we're gonna take it all the way up to $90 bets. So three green, three red, $90 bets. Now with a $90 bet, you'd get paid, I don't have a black chip here, but let me grab one you'd actually get paid 105. So even if you lose at the $12 level or $24 and then $60, we're still gonna have a profit of $21 if you hit at this level. Now, if you don't hit at this level, the total loss will be $264. So can you afford that? Well, some people can, some people can't, but that's your total maximum risk. If in fact you can't roll a six or eight and you roll a seven times, you will have lost $264. In the meantime, hopefully you're taking some little wins. And he says his goal is just to win $50 and then he's kind of done for the day. Now, this might happen in just a couple shooters. It may take a long time, but that's his goal. He's looking for $50. Now he said, I don't remember the number. He's played this 28 times or 38 times, either one. He says he's yet to lose with this. So, or he hit the, the four sevens before the six or eight, which, you know, kind of makes sense because there are six ways to roll a seven, and there are five ways to roll a six, and five rolls, five ways to roll an eight. So there are a total of 10 ways that you can win and six ways to lose. So we'll go ahead and test it out and see if our luck will work here for us. Before I roll this out, I wanna let you know that I have started a new YouTube channel. It's called Color Up Poker. So if you're interested in poker, or if you wanna see me go from a beginner to a professional in 900 days, that's my goal, uh, you can kind of follow along that journey. Yeah, I am a dice player at heart, I love dice, but I'm gonna kinda of take a stab at it and try some poker so you can kind of follow along my journey as I learn the game and play. I've got some informational videos, I'll be vlogging from the casino, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. So if you wanna follow that, that'd be great. You subscribe to Color Up Poker, I'll put a link down below and uh, check it out. So if you like my stuff here, maybe you'll like it there. And hopefully if I win at poker, well, most likely if I win, I'll just take the winnings right over the dice table, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, I have $300 here. Again, the maximum risk is 264. So we want our bets working for the come out. So let's go ahead and give the dealer a green chip. We want $12, six and eight working. All right, the dealer will give us a dollar change and set us up. $24 or $12 each. And we'll put a little marker on us that we're working for the come out. And here we go. Let's pick that up first. Shooter number one. Here we go. Six or eight is all we need. Six, we're off to a good start. Now this is where the patience comes in. And I don't know how good this will be for the video, 
but we're going to get paid $14. We've got a win for at least the first shooter. And we're going to now go off on our bets. So we're at on the six. We're going to wait for the shooter to seven out. Or roll a seven, yeah. Two craps. So this is the patience part, and this is the boring video part. Three, but we'll give you some. I know a lot of you like to play at home. Uh, against my rolls, that was a five. So we're looking for six or seven. There's a 10. There's a six point hit. All right, same shooter. Five, we're out on the five. Mark up the five. Four, easy. Four, the hard way, four hard. Try to roll through these as quick as I can. 10, easy way, 10. Eight, easy. And our bets are off, so that doesn't, I'm not gonna win any money. Five point hit again, so we're hitting points. We just, it's the same shooter. We're not, again, he's kind of waiting for that seven. Technically, it doesn't matter. You know, the odds don't change whether you, the seven rolls and you wait for the seven or not. I mean, it is a come out, so I could just start over and have my bets working. And just for the sake of this video, I think I am gonna do that. So let's go ahead and have my bets working. So I'm gonna kind of adapt this a little bit. If I hit the point, I'll go ahead and work the bets. Or if there's a seven out, I'll go ahead and work my bets on the new come out roll. So we'll just see how that goes. Because mathematically, it doesn't really make a difference. That would be more based off of superstition or sevens being due or that sort of thing. Three, three craps. Still looking for a point. Eight, eight easy. So that'll be a good one for us. So we're gonna win our 14. I'm gonna just go ahead and pay out 15 for one. So basically, We've got two hits there, and then now we'll go off, and we'll either wait for a seven or the point to be hit. Yo, 11. Six. And again, our bets are off, so that's not a win for us. 10, but we've already accomplished what we wanted. Just win a little money. There's the seven out, and again, our bets are off, so it doesn't hurt us. The puck is gonna go off. So in this case, we'd have a new shooter. Now we'll turn our bets on. Just looking for a couple more, two more scores, really. Two, two craps. Six and eight shooter. 12, another craps number. Six, easy six. My dice rolled there, but it was a six, so that's a good hit for us. Again, we're gonna win 14. Let's go ahead and again, we'll pay out 15 for one. And we, we're gonna need one more score. And now we'll turn our bets off and just ride it out. See what happens here. Two creps. Stage of the game, it doesn't matter. Five, no field five. Yo, 11. Six the hard way, six hard point hit. So the puck's gonna go off. We're gonna go ahead and turn our bets back on for the come out. So far, we've been doing pretty well. We really just need one more hit to hit our goal for the day. And there it is, six, six easy. So we're back out on that six. 12 is gonna pay 14. I'm gonna pay out 15 for one. So we're gonna to toss the dealer one and he's gonna pay out 15. So let's go ahead and add that up here. Well, we could pull our bets down, but 10, 20, 30, 40, and there's our 50, $56 of profit if we pull our bets down, and we would essentially be done for the day. Now, if you can accomplish that 10 times, you basically have $500 in profit. So even if, again, this is, you know, he's a status, statistician, it's unlikely to happen, but even if you do roll those four sevens before the six and eight, you've got that covered. So 
you know, we'd have to do this 10 times to build up our cushion or, you know, our bankroll or however you want to describe it, but you wouldn't be in that big a shape. But you know, 264 is not a huge risk to begin with, especially nowadays when you're seeing 10, $15 and higher tables. So not a bad way to go about it. You just have to have the patience for the rolls and be willing to win $50 or so. But for, for demonstration purposes, I also want to show you what happens when I do roll the seven and how we progress up a little bit and maybe we can win a little more money. So we're going to be a little more greedy with this and keep going. So let's go ahead and turn our bets off and let's finish out this roll here. Four, easy four. Yo, 11. Eight, that's going to drop. If you move the obstruction, they're going to call that eight hard. Five. Five. Yeah, I'm really excited about the poker channel. Just kind of like a side hobby for me. Nine. And I think it'll be fun if you're interested in to see how I do. Dice off the table, no roll. Maybe that'll bring the seven. We'll see here. Five. It does not. Six, easy six, so point is hit. We've been hitting a lot of points this video. So we'll go ahead and turn our bets back on for the come out roll, have them working for the come out. Same shooter, same die, here we go. Four, easy four. Now we'll see what happens here. Six or eight, shooter, nope. Okay, not gonna happen. So this time we actually lose our $24. So we're going to take it up to $30 bet. So we need $60. So toss $60 to the dealer and place the six and eight for 30 each, please. Get you set up. Puck's on, so our bets are on. So actually scratch that. Our, we rolled a seven, so the puck actually would go off and we would have a new shooter. So in that case, we, need to, we do need to tell the dealer, hey, turn my bets on or have them working for the come out roll. And here we go, new shooter. Six or eight, shooter. Six, there we go. So puck's gonna go to the six, and 30 is going to pay 35. So even though we lost at the earlier level, we have a net win of $11 here. Now in this case, we're gonna drop back down to $12 each. So you can do it now, or just have the dealer pull your bets down. We'll go ahead and do that, just to finish this roll. So I'm gonna rack this up. And we'll just let the roll finish out and see what happens here. Six or the seven, there's the point hit, the six. So the puck's gonna go off. We won our $11. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that back there just so I can kind of visually see how many units, because we're trying to get basically $50 at a time, right? So let's go ahead and get back up. I'll throw in another quarter, get a dollar change. We want the six and eight for $12 each dealer. And we want them working. So we'll get that marked up and we're going to have the same shooter coming out. Here we go. Six, easy six. My dice rolled there, but it was a six. Comes out on the six. Again, 12 is going to pay 14. Let's go ahead and pay 15 for one. So that's kind of like our second win here. We'll ask the dealer to turn our bets off. Let this just fall out of the rack. And we're out on the six. Now we're just going to roll it. Till the hand's over, two aces in both places. All right, here we go. Seven, out. All right, but our bets are off, so we don't care about that. Puck is off. We're gonna have a new shooter. For this shooter, we're down at the $12 level. We'll just turn our bets on. And here we go. Yo, 11, still looking for a point. Four, the hard way, four hard. All right, we'll mark that up. And our bets are still going. Six or eight, 10 combinations versus six. There's the 10, 10 easy. And seven, our, our combination advantage did not help us there. So these bets are going to lose. 
Puck's gonna go off. We're gonna have a new shooter. And this time we're gonna go up to $30 level. So let's throw in $60. Dealer, six and eight for 30 each. Let's have them working. And we're gonna have a new shooter because the last one's seven out. And here we go, let's see what happens. Four, back out on that four, four easy. Now we need the six or eight before that seven. Nope, not gonna happen. All right, so we're gonna have to go up to our last level. So our $30 bets are gonna go down. Puck is gonna go off. This time we're gonna go up to $90 each. So 75, 90. Need a little more here. 75, 90. So we'll set these guys up. I'll change this out. All right, $90 bets, and we're gonna have them working. So if we lose this, it will have been four sevens, and we will have lost $264. Now we have already won some, so we it'll buffer it a little bit, but we'll see what happens here. All right, let's dump the bowl, simulate a new shooter, get new dice, see if it changes the luck, and our bets are working. Here we go, we need that six or eight shooter. Four, coming out on that four again, four easy. We don't really need the marker at this point. Here we go. 10 the hard way, 10 hard. Nine, center field, nine. But again, if we just walked off, walked after our um, initial $50 win, we would have been okay. We wouldn't have been subject to this. But it doesn't matter. We hit our number. We rolled a six. So 90 is going to pay 105. So even with our previous losses, we win basically a net of $21. So dealer, pull my bets down. We can rack these up. Essentially put the $21 profit back there if we wanted to, to kind of keep track of it. And again, we've won at least basically, it's, we've kind of simulated winning two sessions here. So not too shabby. So we'll let the shooter kind of finish his roll and maybe we'll give it one more try. Six the hard way, rolling sixes. This is the hard part is whenever you're rolling numbers and you're not on them, but hey, kind of trying to hit the numbers and get out of there. Three, three craps. Looking for the four or seven at this point, just to end the roll. Six, easy six. You know, the, the guys who press the numbers are like, oh my gosh, you're rolling so many sixes. Three, three craps. 10, 10 easy. And finally, seven out, all right? But it didn't hurt us. We don't have any bets going. So we're gonna have a new shooter. Like I said, we'll just try this one more time. So dealer, 12, the six and eight for $12 each. So dollar change, get these set up. And the key is we want them working. All right, dealer, have my bets working. And here we go, new, sh oh, look at that, Yahtzee. Except for I don't have my five dice. All right, here we go. Oof, seven on the come out. So our bets are gonna lose because they were working. So we're gonna take this up. We're gonna test the strategy a little bit. We're gonna throw in $60. Dealer, six and eight for 30 each. Have them working. There's one seven. We wanna avoid three more. Three craps. Before we roll at six and eight. Five. Oh, it's not gonna happen. Oh, I'm sorry, no. We were out on the five, but then I rolled a seven out, so we would lose our bets either way. So I almost lost track of it there. But down comes our bets. We're gonna go, have to go up to the last level. The puck's gonna go off. Seven out, we're gonna have a new shooter, but we've gotta put $90 bets, so we need 180. Let's go one, do we have, yeah, we'll go one, 180 at risk. Dealer, six and eight for $90 each. That's three green, three red. Clean up back here a little bit, maybe. All right, and we want them working. Gotta see that six or eight here, shooter. 
Come on, new shooter. Six or eight, please. Six, we got it. There we go. So we escaped disaster. We're out on that six. 90 is going to pay 105. Dealer, take my bets down. So essentially, you win 21 bucks there. So we can move it to the back if we'd like. And we're on our way. I don't know why I took the puck off. The puck would be on. And the shooter would just continue to roll until he rolls the six or the seven. There's the eight. Dice off the table, no roll. Same die. And there it goes. Superstition brought the seven, which is fine for us. The puck's gonna go off. We didn't have any bets and uh, we're kind of done. I think we rolled it out. You kind of saw the risk, but let's see where we actually ended up at. So we started with 300. We've got one, two, 250, 275, 300. So there's our buy-in. We've broken even at least. And here's some profit. So 25, 50, 75, 100, 120, 123. So not too shabby. Our profit's 123. And, you know, if we could do that again, we'd basically have enough to, you know, if we, remember, 264 is your max risk. So if we could duplicate that again, we'd basically be free rolling. So I don't know. You got the six and eight working for you. Great numbers, great bets. Remember, there's 10 combinations to win. There's six ways to lose. And as long as you could avoid that seven, four times, you just have to hit the six or the eight one time and you'll keep making money. So I've seen a lot, in a lot of different martingales, but I don't know if I've seen a martingale on the six or eight, which makes sense because these are good optimal numbers that should be rolling, right? There's five out of the 36 combinations are these rolls. So I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And uh, definitely subscribe to my new Color Up Poker channel. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.